The vigilante-style attack on the person of interest in the rape of an 11-year-old girl is the subject of today's Five Spot. Joining me is attorney Rocco Ciperone. Always good to see you. Same here, thanks. We've seen the videotape. We're going to show it again in just a moment here. Obviously, emotions were running high. A horrible, horrible crime. Many are asking, though, if this type of vigilante crime is justified. Well, it's a very despicable act, obviously, and the emotions are justified. I'm not so sure that the actions of the crowd were legally justified, though, and it exposes those persons to risks of prosecution or injury themselves. Do you think these group of men uh, will be prosecuted? I think there's a substantial risk. Prosecutors have to look at policy decisions, and the problem with not prosecuting these people if it's not justified is that you create a situation where it's almost a condemnation of their actions, and that's the consideration of yeah, prosecutors. This type of uh, justice has been around for centuries. Uh, I'm curious here, the difference between vigilante justice versus, you know, taking matters in your own hands, citizen's arrest? Well, a citizen's arrest is legitimate if you don't use more force than is necessary to detain the person. Looking at that videotape, and that only tells part of the story, shows the individual trying to get away, and that might present a problem for the crowd. It's hopeful that they won't be prosecuted. Nobody really feels like they mm -hmm. should be, but legally they could be. Is there ever a time uh, vigilante justice is justified? Well, not in our system of justice. We really leave that you know, procedure to the police and to prosecutors and to the system. And it's a pretty good system. It's there to protect us and it works most of the time. So I would say it's really not appropriate in most situations. A $10,000 reward was posted yesterday, uh, the day before, for this guy. Do you think rewards ever play a factor in vigilante justice? I don't think they play a factor in the justice itself. I think they're a legitimate law enforcement tool to bring people to justice, to bring people out of their shell who otherwise might not cooperate with law enforcement so that they provide tips to law enforcement. I think it's a good tool. It just can't be used to inflame emotions. I want to read something a blogger on Fox 29 had to say. Uh, he said, vigilante justice is a dangerous tool, a tool that could mean the end of America American society a complete breakdown of law and order. I, I mean, I partially agree with that. I think the problem is it can create bigger problems than that which it's intended to justify. Meaning, this guy was accused at some point of having a gun or at least threatening to have a gun. If he had pulled a gun, an innocent bystander or one of the members of the crowd could have been shot and killed. If somebody else in the crowd overreacted and pulled a gun and fired a shot, somebody else innocently could have been killed. So it is rife with potential for a lot of danger and a lot of decay in the situation. And this person of interest is being held on a series of warrants. What are investigators waiting on at this point? I think they're waiting on probably looking at DNA analysis of the glasses that were found at the scene. They're probably trying to interview this guy and see if he confesses to the crime. And they really probably don't want to put forth the charge until they're fairly confident that they have a solid case against him. Rocco Ciperone, defense attorney, good to see you. Thanks good to for see joining you, us today. Thank you.